This video explains how to count duplicates in a list object using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example list, as you can see in the first line of code. So after running this line of code, a new list object called my list is created. And then in the next step, I'm also printing this list below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created an example list that contains six elements. Now let's assume that we want to identify the number of duplicates for each of the elements in our list. Then we can apply the count function, as you can see in the next line of code. And within this line of code, I'm using the count function to count the different elements in our list. And then I'm storing the output of the count function in a new data object that I'm calling my list count one and I'm printing the content of this new data object using the print function. And then you can see below the code box that a new output is returned, which tells us how often each of the elements in our list occurs. So in this case, the string A occurs three times, the string C occurs two times, and the string B occurs only once, so the string B is unique. So in this first example, I have shown how to use the count function to count duplicates in a list object. However, it's also possible to use the counter function of the collections module for this task. And for this, we first need to import the counter function. And then in the next step, we can apply this function to our list object. In this case, I'm also storing the output of this function in a new data object that I'm calling my list count two. And then I'm printing the content of this new data object below the code box. And then you can see that we have returned another output, which shows the same duplicate counts as in the previous example. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.